It's fast, it's rough, it's our national sport. It's close to a sin not to watch NHL hockey on CBC in the spring. Every year a fan gets a, an extreme high at playoff season. This doesn't come down, this stays up year round. The whole excitement of, of playoff hockey is all about the support of the fans. We know that our fans are extremely loyal, we know they're very passionate about their team, and we know that they want to have that emotional connection uh, to something that is extremely important to them. It's really part of their culture. I bleed blue and white. Check out the nails. It's all about the Leafs, man. I would say the definition of a fan is someone who identifies with a group, believes in a group, idealizes a group. Three goals, baby! Somehow he's hooked onto a team and uh, he shares the success and I'm sure some of the fans feel that they're contributing to the team's victory. And really believes, wants to believe, wants to belong to an organization, wants to belong to the success, wants to be involved in the, in the winning and the losing. You just feel the energy and the excitement, it's electric. How far would I go? I would do anything, especially to get tickets to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Historically, the reason people have always cared so much is that it has this an element of community identification. You're you're cheering for yourself. You're cheering for the place you live and the people around you. Uh, you know, I think historically, you would have been literally cheering for your neighbors or your family. You, you even connect with those who may not geographically live even close to you, but you are a part of that experience and you're part of a common belief. And, and it gives you a common bond with people that you don't even know. You can walk into a bar, some guy's wearing a Leaf jersey, you're wearing a Leaf jersey, and all of a sudden, you know, you're long lost buddies. Oh, there's a school dance tonight. I told him I couldn't go, I have to watch the Leaf game. I almost lost my job for the Leafs, come on. I think you get a chance to let yourself go, to give yourself over to something. It's, it's sort of like going to the theater or going to the movies, except it's different because when you go to the theater or the movies, you kind of know what's gonna happen, that you're gonna sit there for two hours and something is going to play itself out to a conclusion and then you're gonna go home. When you go to a sporting event, you don't know what's going to be happening. You engage in, with it in a different way because you have to participate, you have to, give something of yourself over to it in a way that you don't even do enjoy a film. This is the Alfredson dummy. I, any Blee fan is welcome to punch him, kick him, do whatever he wants to him. And we have a few Sens fans in the crowd, but you don't see no violence, man. Brutality! Let's hit the Sens! Hit the boards! It's like a religion in Canada. Everybody, I think, as a child, practically everybody has come in contact with some interest in, in the Stanley Cup. I think you could definitely, you know, make the analogy that the sports arena um, is a cathedral, if you will, and, and that the following of the fan of their favorite sports team, um, you know, some call it their religion. When it becomes an obsession, that's when it's, it's, it's a static, rigid thing that the hockey or whatever is always put ahead of any other, any other choice, particularly ahead of a relationship, and then I think it can cause, can cause problems. Living proof that there was, in fact, a much younger fourth stooge. Living proof that there is such a thing as evolution, and he didn't make it. <laughs> Professional sport and spectator sport has never in history been bigger than it is right now. And well, pick your theory. Why, what's not there? What community function's not there? Is it religion? Is it a belief in politics or kind of a, a common faith or anything like that? There's a bunch of things that probably aren't there that don't bring communities together naturally. And sport is one of the few things where you can put a bunch of people in the same place at the same time who care about the same thing. They're happy to get off the farm, see something different. There's no cow shit on the ground, you know? But in Vancouver, we're here, we're waiting, baby! But I, I am a Leaf fan, like I follow the Leafs, but I don't really cheer. What, what's the most that you'll hear? I'll say hooray or clap. I'll say all right. We needed this one better than anything! Well, I think there can be negative aspects to being a fan. 
if you see hockey as people getting stuck at a certain emotional stage of development, which we as analysts call the anal phase, and the anal phase is all about winning or losing. <laughs> Who's on top? Who is possession? Who is the possession of the puck? The idea of wanting to gain control of your, of your opponent. There has to be an enemy. And this is the teams. There's the good and the bad, the rivalries between the teams. You want to bring them down, jersey them, castrate them. But I think it's also a way of people working through those, those issues so they can go out and, and live their life and connect with you know, people, connect with their wives, particularly on a higher emotional level because they've had an opportunity to work out some of those issues in a, in a healthy environment, in a group, in a social setting. But they want to believe. Because if you can't believe, it's not, it's, it all falls apart if you don't believe. There's, there's, you wouldn't go and watch a hockey game or a, bas a basketball game or a baseball game if you didn't believe. It would be empty. It would be a bunch of guys running around pointlessly if you don't believe. But if you buy in and you care about it and you really care about the outcome and you care with a bunch of other people at the same time, it's really powerful. So you have to do that. I, you know, I say otherwise it's empty. Otherwise it's just empty spectacle and no one would pay a nickel to watch it.